So today I want to introduce you to a little friend of mine that is very, very helpful at practicing your macro photography. Well, before we do that, let's fix this, uh, this lens problem. As you know, we've had a few problems with this lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one instead. This is a 10 to 18 millimeter STM lens. And we're going to see if this is going to fix our problem. So with that on, it might give us a little bit of a better um, video. It's a lot quieter. The, auto, it, the autofocus is still there, but like I say, it's a lot quieter. Anyway, so let's get back onto the subject of today. Today is talking about macro photography and practice. And where I started thinking about getting the shot I want. Now, getting the shot involves going out into local woods, where it is, nature reserve, whatever, and getting the shot you want. Now, the shot you want is different for every person. Now, for me, I don't want a black background. I want the eyes in focus, some dew drops, usual stuff. But the problem is this. When you go out into the nature reserve, the woods, wherever, back garden. I do a lot of my photography in the back garden, right? A lot of times, the insects won't keep still. They're flying away. So being able to practice while they're doing that is very hard, which is why I got thinking, why can't we practice in our own home during winter? And that's where Missy comes in. Okay, so Missy is a regal jumping spider. And I had her about, I'd say about nine months ago. And what Missy allows me to do is to be able to practice my macro photography whenever I want to, wherever I want to. If I get a, um, an idea in my head of a new diffuser for my uh, twin macro light, I can try out the diffuse, but instead of having to go aside, I can just get Missy out of a enclosure, pop her onto a flower, and practice as much as I want. And it is so helpful. Now, you can get different types of spiders. You, can, you don't have to have a spider. You can go to your local uh, pet shop, get a cricket, and get a locust, get some flowers, pop them on, and you can practice your macro photography all day long. doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing, icy, summer warm cold it doesn't matter because you're in your own home and you can practice your techniques that way you can hone your technique to a point where you can get the shot with one shot and that's what's important because when you go out into the wild these insects aren't going to stick around for you you've probably got one to two shots at the most if you're lucky so yeah my, my regal jumping spider, I'm able to practice whenever I want to. If I get an idea in my head again, I can just get out of the enclosure and practice. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, is because I needed to introduce her, because we're going to be using Missy a lot this year to test different techniques out. So that's a regal jumping spider for practicing your macro photography. Now, if you want to know more information about uh, jumping spiders or keeping them, then send me a message. I can do a separate video on how to keep jumping spiders, how to feed them, clean them. And uh, we can do that on a whole other video. But for now, this is Stuart Wood for The Art of Stuart Wood. This is Missy, and we will see you on the next video.